y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl daisy budgets and over here on my channel i do savings challenges sinking funds updates cash stuffings a little bit of everything so if any of that sounds like something you might be interested in make sure to like comment and subscribe and smash that notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video okay so today's video i do have a little bit of a happy mail unboxing that i want to do but we are also going to be going over my paycheck budget breakdown for the first paycheck of november but like i said i do have some happy mail so this is from a new private seller uh, well new to me they sent me over this bag from Koei Bags. I am going to have all their information, including a discount code and everything down below, just in case if you are interested. But they sent me this bag. Apparently, I've become like the dupe reviewer because everybody and their mama wants to be reaching out to me for me to review a bag. You'd be surprised at how many people I turned down. Um, but I decided to say yes to this company, Koei Bags, because I actually know of someone who has worked with them in the past. So I reached out to them and I asked them how their experience was and they had a really good experience. So I decided to go forward with it. So we're going to check it out. I have not opened it. I haven't even peeked at it. So let's jump right in. How do I open this? Okay, here we go. Okay, so right off the rip, you get all the little receipts and stuff, the little booklets, but we're not here for that. You get a bag, just in case you want to give it as a gift. And here it is. Okay, so let's check this out. First off, this dust bag is amazing quality. I'm definitely going to keep this dust bag for when I'm not using the bag. I can just stick it in here whenever it's not in use and I know that it'll be protected. It's really, really good quality. Okay, so first thing, it was wrapped very, very well. That's for sure. They definitely took their time to protect the bag and all the hardware. The color, I'm hoping that you can see it well. The inside is absolutely gorgeous. I wanted the one with the pink lining. They allowed me the option to choose which um, bag or wallet or whatever I wanted to review from their website. So I chose the Neverfull. I do have it in ebony and I really wanted the white and pink one. So now I have it. It is absolutely gorgeous. The logos are right where they're supposed to be. I'm telling you guys, I always say it, but there's just something about a private seller that um, the quality is always so much better. When you receive it, it comes folded, so you do kind of have to, like, adjust it and work it out so that you don't have that crease. But it's barely even noticeable, you guys. And the straps, you know, especially with the Neverfulls, they always put, like, this weird latex kind of, like, red film that ends up, like, peeling off and stuff. And this one almost feels like it's been dyed. Like, I don't have to worry about this peeling off or anything this is definitely different and the quality of the straps like they feel legit it definitely feels legit has all the gold hardware and it's all wrapped up so they made sure to take care of that and on the inside pocket as per usual it should have the logo which it does the giant pocket that reaches all the way to the bottom. That's another like telltale sign that you have a fake one when um, the inner pocket doesn't reach all the way down to the bottom as it should. 
so you guys i'm obsessed with it i freaking love it the quality is amazing i'm glad i decided to say yes to them yeah i don't have any bad things to say about it again the stitching is fantastic look at that stitch work that's gorgeous and the straps they don't feel like plasticky or anything they feel legit legit and it also came with the little pouch Oh, here's the strap. So there is a strap. Again, the hardware, it all has LV on all the hardware and it's wrapped well. They really did a good job at securing all the hardware and making sure that everything wasn't going to get scuffed up so yeah i'm actually very very impressed very impressed with this bag okay so you guys if you're interested in the neverfull or any other bag check out their site they have a ton of stuff there i'm gonna leave all their links pinned to the top of my comments section so make sure to check there along with the coupon code so if you decide to purchase yourself a little something you'll get some coin off because we're all about that bougie on a budget girl i'm definitely gonna be rocking this a lot okay very quickly you guys i didn't have time to well actually i did i actually did film a um sinking funds update for october however i wasn't i didn't have the time to edit it because my parents are in town so i decided i'll just give you a quick um brief update at where we're at in the beginning of the month my total was seven thousand five hundred and twenty six and that was all the cash that are in my envelopes not including my challenges and such um so we had 7,526 and at the end of the month, we had 8,654, which means I was able to save $1,128 in the month of October. So that is fantastic. And the end total again was 8,654. So the numbers are climbing, which is super exciting. I love to see that. Okay. So here we are now to our paycheck budget breakdown. This is for paycheck number one of November. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little closer so that you can see better. Okay, so I'm hoping that's okay. Let's get started. So my bills, I always take out the same amount for my bills. I'm currently a month ahead on my bills. So basically um, what I do is since my husband gets paid weekly and we use his check to pay the bills and the expenses, um, I divide our monthly bills into four because again, we get paid weekly. So that is why you'll see rent has $344 this week. That's how much I have to put every week for the next four weeks so that I would have enough stuff for next month because I've already made the deposit. You guys saw the unstuffing. So I already deposited all the money that I needed for the month of November. Okay. So this week, my husband is going to be bringing home $1,198. So I'm going to add up all of the amounts here. Like I said, rent is getting $344 this week. Um, electric is getting $55. T-Mobile is getting $55. Um, life insurance is getting 33 Hulu gets 4 Lawn care gets 25 um, Car insurance gets 23 Spectrum gets 24 Amazon gets $2. BSS, that's my trash service, they get $8. And Roblox gets $3. I had to put it on the same line because there isn't enough room. I'm actually thinking about possibly creating my own because I don't seem to have like enough boxes. I do have like a lot of bills, expenses, sinking funds and things like that. So I feel like I need more space. But anyway, so that gives us a total of $576. So if we take away $1,198... That'll leave us with 622 remaining. 
Hopefully that made sense. I kind of did that backwards, but you can also do 1,198, take away 576, which is basically the same thing, and you come out with the same number. 622. So that's how much we have left to put into our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. So Bubba's spending is going to get 30. He always gets 30. So do I. Groceries this week. We just did a Costco's run and did some grocery shopping. So I'm only going to give it $100 this week. Home stuff um, is going to get $20 this week. Gas will get 50. Takeout will get 50. Give will get five. And miscellaneous will get five. Okay, so we're going to add all that up. So we have 30 plus 30 plus 100 plus 20 plus 50 plus 50. Okay, so that gives us a total of $290. Okay, so let's take away 622. That leaves us with three. Oh. I think it was 332 <laughs> $332. So that's what we have left to put into sinking funds. Okay, so let's see here. Car maintenance, we're going to give car maintenance $20. Miscellaneous, we'll get five. Emergency, we'll get $20. Giveaways, we'll get five. Medical, will get ten dollars holidays will also get ten dollars i'm gonna get 20 in my necessities envelope so is bubba so is no my daughter is actually gonna get 10 my son will get 20 this week my dog is going to get 10 my g baby which is my grandson is also gonna get 10 family fun will also get 10 Birthdays, 10. Gifting, we'll get 10. Date night, we'll give it 10. And all right, so date night, we'll get 10. And then my nails, we'll get $12. Beauty, we'll get 10. This is what I'm saying about not having enough room. I have to put two categories on one line. Okay, so beauty is going to get 10 and retail therapy will also get 10. Month ahead is going to get $20 and invest is going to get $10. Okay, so we're just going to add all of this up. Okay, so the total is $262. Take away 332 equals $70. So $70 is what we will have left. And I'm going to take that 70 and I'm going to put it into savings challenges. So um, the whole 70 will go to savings challenges. So the total is 70 and will leave us with a balance of $0 for this zero base budget. So everything checks out. We're looking good. I apologize for the video if it seems a little bit rushed, but I do have my parents in town by the time you watch this. So I am trying to take time out to enjoy their company because they will be leaving on the 7th. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video and haven't already done so, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And make sure to check out my friends over at Koei Bags. I'll leave all the links pinned down in the top of the comments. So make sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, leave me, leave me a pine tree emoji. I don't know if we have pine tree emojis, but if we do, make sure to leave me one down in the comments so that I know that you made it this far into the video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.